Hi, today we're going to see how to create a pixel sorting effect in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So first we need to duplicate this image, this layer here. So click on this icon here, create a duplicate of the layer like this. Let's rename this layer pixel, double click on the name here like this, press enter here to confirm the name here. And now we are going to apply a filter to this pixel layer here. Go to filters, distort, shift, and now change the shift direction to vertical and increase the shift all the way up here. Press OK to confirm. So here it is. Now we're going to repeat this filter here on this layer, on the pixel layer. So go to filters. Click here, repeat shift. We are going to repeat this filter four to five times. So here again. Here. Until you get the result you want, the effect you want on this layer here. I think I'm going to add one more time. So I think this is it, that's okay here. And now I'm going to hide the pixel layer here and select the image layer. Press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. And now we are going to make selection of inside here of the hood here. We're going to use the paths tool here. And now we're going to make path here. So let's start here like this. Here, just select the inside of the hood. Here like this. So here I'm just going to make curved path here. So here, and here as you can see, if you add another path, it will be curved. So if you don't want a curved path and you want a straight path, Control Z to undo. Bring this handle here back to the path here and then you will be able as you can see to make a straight line with the path control z to undo so here i'm just going to just like this here and now like this and now in order to close this path press the control key keep the control key down and then left click on the first path here to close it and then press enter to make selection here. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out like this. And now we are going to show our pixel layer here. This one here, select the pixel layer, right click on it, add layer mask, check the selection layer mask, add. So as you can see here, it filled the selection with white, which represents opacity, and everything outside the selection with black, which is transparent. So it is showing the image below it. So here, now if you want to remove these paths, just select another tool here. I'm going to select the free select tool since I'm going to use it. I'm going to add selection here to make it go straight line here. So in the tool options, make sure the mode is add to the current selection, and then press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in. And now just select on the edges here, like this, we are going to make a line from this edge, from the right edge to the left edge. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now here, just are going to close this selection here. We're going to make selection like this. So I want a straight rectangle here, like this. Now press enter. So here, as you can see, it added to the previous selection. And now we just need to fill it with white. So here, I'm just going to fill it. So, so here it is. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. So 
go to select none to remove the selection so now we need to add some shadows here under the hood to make it appear as if it's coming from the hood so right click on the layer mask here and then select mask to selection and now let's create a new layer click on this icon here fill it with transparency press ok and now make sure the foreground color is black here take the paint brush tool the brush is hardness 025 the hardness is i'm going to reduce the hardness here to 25 and the force to 25 here like this and here for the size we can go in to increase it here so here so like this i'm just going to paint on the transparent layer here i just created so like this so here so here i'm just going to add you can also decrease the opacity of the layer if you want so i'm just going to keep it like this i think so here and now go to select none to remove the selection to see the effect so here i think it's okay and now we're going to add another layer to give some highlight to this image so click on this icon to create a new layer fill it with transparency press ok and now we are going to change the foreground color to white here and now we are just going to paint on the hood here just to give some highlights here and then we are going to add some highlights on the pixels here so select the layer mask right click on it and then mask to selection and now i'm going to increase the brush size here so i'm going to increase it to 1200 i think here it's okay so select the layer we just created with the highlights here this one here and now i'm just going to click here inside selection like this here just going to add these two highlights and then change the layer mode to overlay so here like this you can also reduce the opacity here like this so i think i'm going to keep it like this you can also add here now if you want so here so here i think it's okay here so now we are going to remove selection go to select none and now let's go to the first layer here right click on it and then new from visible and now you can delete all of these layers here under the new visible layer press the x icon here to delete them and now we are just going to add a color grading to this image so duplicate this image by clicking on this icon here and now let's change the colors of the foreground and background i'm going to take this dark shade of blue here the html notation is 143371 press ok and now let's change the color of the background i'm going to take a light blue here this one the html notation is 08dde1 press ok and now go to colors map well first make sure that the gradient tool the name of the gradient is fg to bg foreground to background rgb and the shape is linear and then now go to colors map gradient map and now we are going to change the layer mode to overlay so here as you can see it's too much so just decrease the opacity so here so here's the before here's the after so i think i will keep it like this here now right click on it and then new from visible and so here it is that's how we can create a pixel sorting effect in gimp so thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time
Bye-bye.